What's going on, YouTube? Second month update. Back at it, about to go get retwisted at uh, 1 p.m. in a little bit, about like an hour or two. So, just want to get y'all this video in real quick so I can see what it's looking like, so y'all can see. Um, let me just get straight into it. I ain't on no fluff. Let me go top. I'm gonna try to like get a real good view because I got this ring light. Well, I've had it, I just never use it for whatever reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get a real good view today, definitely after the retwist so you can really see the parts and stuff. So I'm using this ring light, man. I gotta get me a better camera. I'm trying to take this vlogging thing more serious, man. I got a lot, a lot of content to put out there and come up like, let me get back on my beats, videos, like my dread videos, of course, I've been doing those. But the beats is what I'm more so like, that's my passion. So it's like, I'm about to be doing beat videos, uploading the beats, you know, showing how I make them. Show if we in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Little, little vlogs or stuff like that. Anything to do with like, you know, making music, I'll be vlogging about, cause that's about to be my career. You know, I'm, I don't know if I told y'all already, but I'm in school for audio engineering. And so uh, I finished June 28th, so that's coming real soon. It's April 26th right now. Had a good two months. And so when I finish that, I'll be, I'm about to get, maybe get an internship and then, you know, that'll give me that experience so that when, when I finish school, I can just go, go into working full time. But yeah, I just want to get y'all a good little view real quick. Let's see how can I do this. So I'll go from the top. And they starting to bud too. Like a lot of them got these little kind of fat little knots in them. Where's a good one? to show you real quick. I know this one right here, like that little knot right there. I'm surprised it's on the top locking already, but it's uh like right there, that little bud. That's how you know your dread's starting to lock versus like one of them that may be just regular. I don't even know if I have any just regular ones anymore, but like it's starting to lock cause it got the little bud on it. I don't really know what it is, but I just know that means it's starting to lock. So it's like a good two months in. But yeah, let me just get back to what I was showing y'all. I haven't tried to count them yet because I got so many small ones. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wait to, to try to count them. They get a little longer. My alarm. I'm gonna watch it close. Yeah. I'm just curious to see how thick they gonna be. I know they're smaller, I got a lot of them. I just wanna see how they're gonna grow in kind of thick or you know, they're, they're gonna be thin or whatever. If they, if they are too thin, I won't let them get too long because I know like, I'll be scared to break them off or something, <laughs> breaking, breaking off or something, so. But it all depends on how they turn out. to start some lots some of them want to book a con a consultation before you even uh can can start it i'm like man y'all doing the most but it is what it is i know it's more so people charging what they want to charge versus at a shop you know they can they got more clients coming in they can they don't have to charge as much but my lotician let's see it charged me about 80 90 before when i had the thicker locks but when I got more of them, they started to charge like, I wanna say like 90, maybe a hundred. And then I throw like a little $20 tip on there. So it'd be like 120, which is not bad at all. After seeing them prices on that app, I'm like, bro, they charging like, oh my, they, <laughs> they charging a lot. I mean, I understand it's a lot of work, but at the shop, they got two different ladies 
who will kind of work on my hair at the same time just to get me out of there quicker. But it's good and bad, because um, one of them, I like how they twist a little more than the other side, which is why I was like, I had a problem with kind of like, I thought about starting over, but I ain't do it. So the right side I like, because it's, it's, it's a lot of them, but they're thicker. But this left side, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just tripping, but they, they're thinner. I got a lot of them, but they, they, they seem like they might be thinner to me. So I'm just waiting to see how they're gonna look when they lock. So, but I'm, I'm, I, I, it was, I was fighting it. Like I almost started over, but I was like, you know what? Let me stick with it, man. I'm tired of starting things over. Let me rock it out to the end. If anything, I won't cut these off. I'll just cut them shorter once they you know, grow. I'll just cut them shorter. I, won't, I ain't gonna cut them off. If anything, free form them or whatever. Just trying to show y'all what it's looking like. A little bit before and after. Oh yeah, YouTube, I'll be back after I get the retwist. Show y'all the lineup too. Stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? It's late, but I just wanted to get y'all a quick little view of what it looked like before the lineup, you know, after the retwist, before they you know, spread out the black stuff and you can really see the parts and all that kind of stuff, what it looked like. But it's late, so I ain't trying to be too loud yet, yet again. I'm always getting in late, but I'm gonna show you what it's looking like. I'm gonna uh, be back tomorrow with the lineup. Cause I can see them budding a lot more and not looking like, you know, this cone coils. So about two, three, two months, they start locking two, three months, I guess. But let me make sure you see. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna count them eventually, but I know I got a good amount this time. I'm like, I might stick with these for, for the long run. 
like I was saying, if anything, I'm not gonna cut them off. If anything, I'll cut them shorter, but I'm gonna keep them. So, but I don't know how long I'm gonna grow it out first, depending on how I feel, how I look. But I'm happy with these. Like, I ain't got no more complaints. Like, I'm happy with them. <laughs> so we got some I'm content with. But yeah, I'm gonna get y'all a good little close up view real quick so you can see. Don't get too close. Still. I don't even like to brush my line. That's the one reason why I kind of wanted them to hang to the front because I still got that spot I'm trying to grow back in. And uh, it ain't as bad as it was, I feel like, but I just wanted it to hang to the front. That way I can even not worry about my hairline being stressed. I ain't going to really braid it or nothing. Or if I do, it's going to be the two strands, not the cornrows. So it's like pulling my scalp because I'm really trying to, I don't know. My brother said his, his the middle of his head kind of getting light too. So it might not be the, the dreads, it might just be hereditary. We don't have to see. Cause that cream, everybody else say the cream worked for, for them. But for me and my brother, we, we kind of think like, I don't know, it might not be working for us. So it might be a hereditary thing. Like with that, with that light spot in the middle of my head, I guess as we getting older. But that's a side rant about that, that cream. Somebody had asked me about it. That oil, um, I don't know. It feels like some real good oil. It, it's light on the scalp, but as far as like the regrowth, I don't know, it may help my beard or something, I don't know. But as far as that, that light spot, I can't really say, so it's, it's kind of in the air about that. Forgot to answer that question a minute ago. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, my bad. Just got on a little rant. Here go to the right club. But that's kind of, that's why I wanted them to hang to the front so I can, you know, just not have to worry about my hairline. Just let that, just let it grow in. I can let it after, once it locked, I, you know, I can just go like a month, a few months without retwisting, whatever. I can just get it lined up. And so that way it'll be like, uh, there won't really be no stress on my hair. I can just let it lock. Maybe let it grow in. It's kind of like a, a mohawk. I wanted it to be like a dread mohawk kind of thing, but I started it kind of weird, so. It is what it is, but it, it, turned, it turned out cool because the long ones, the short dreads are covered up pretty much by the, because my hair long already. Yeah, YouTube, y'all stay tuned. I got you.